Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get ready to rock! Just kidding, just kidding. Hello guys, Mark back again. Today we're going to talk about, as you can see, how to ride a bicycle. Now, for those of you who haven't ridden a bike yet, and you are, um, you know, out of preschool, uh, I'm sorry for you, I feel sorry for you, and, uh, you're probably never going to get a girl. And, um, that's about it. So, but, no, just kidding. Uh, anyways, what we're doing today is, uh, how to, uh, look like an idiot unfolding a portable green, blue screen. I'm going to talk about, uh, chroma keying and keying out, uh, chroma blue and chroma green. Now, you can use it for different, uh, colors. You know, chroma green and chroma blue are designed specifically f out. And um, people that are a lot smarter than you and I uh, have uh, figured this out and uh, have came up with these colors. Now, um, I have a 20 foot by 16 foot, I think it is, for a studio that I tried to use out in the field. It doesn't work that well. Um, it's huge. It's awesome for, you know, in stationary use, but for like portable, this is definitely the way to go. So. Spend about, you know, spend under $100 and uh, wood shipping and uh, that's what you can get. And it's quality. It's not shiny. You don't want shiny and I'll show you in a minute. You know, the most important thing when you're using portable green screen or even, a, not even portable, any, any keying color, the most important thing is lighting, okay? Because if you have shadows like this, if you have shadows, it's going to mess your key up. More solid and even a color is, this blue is, if I was keying for blue, the better the key will be. Okay, because it goes off the color. And you don't want wrinkles, that's why again this is really good. If you have wrinkles and it starts to show dark spots, so wrinkles creates dark spots and you don't want dark spots. You want to try to keep the same color throughout the entire uh, material. Alright, and it doesn't, you don't have, listen, you can get a bed sheet. I mean, you can try to and see if that works, whatever. I mean, people have done it. Paint, you know, painting rooms and whatnot is also good. Again, you want to make sure solid color. And you got to watch the shadows behind the person, too. See the shadows? That'll mess up the key as well. So definitely watch the shadows. So let's start with a good key. Right here, no shadows. The lighting uh, looks pretty solid. So what you want to do first is hit, uh, make sure you got your layer selected, hit effect, keying, and then you want to do uh, color key first. You don't want to go right to key light first, okay? Key light's very powerful, but you don't want to go there at first. Uh, you want to use color key first. It's going to make your computer go a lot faster, and it's going to it's going to help you out because it's not using all the information that's in key light. The color key is just a little simpler uh, on your um, graphics card. So click on the dropper and find that color. Okay. And uh, so you click on the color that you want to key out and it starts a little something right there. And you got this color tolerance. So if you turn it up, it's going to go, Waka! it's going to go you know, like that crazy. It's going to key out all that color. Now if you go too far, it's going to start to key out other stuff around there. So obviously, you know, I mean, if that's the look you're going for, then you're you're on the money. I mean that's 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 a good look. But uh, you know we're not going for that today, so we're gonna try to tone it down. So I'm gonna go to like uh, 12, and then uh, I'm gonna hit Control D, duplicate the layer, click on the dropper again, and then click on this screen right here. And then uh, as you can see, it got rid of most of it. Um, I'm going to hit now, I'm going to go to effect, keying, and then I'm going to go key light, uh, click on the dropper, find that green, and then uh, it'll do the rest. Um, this is just going to help uh, with your workflow go a little faster and uh, going to get a better key. Alright, so let's zoom in here and see uh, how this looks. I'm going to hold space bar and then I'm just going to be moving it around. All right, so that's that's a real real nice face, dude. Eh, hey, hey. oh ma, can you wipe my? All right, let's just move on. All right, so if you have good lighting, um, you're gonna have a good key. I mean, that's the bottom line. 
if you have bad lighting, the key's going to be awful. It's going to be awful. Now you can see like a halo around the arms and stuff. We're going to fix that anyways. So, and I got some easy fixes. And you can see it around uh, Forrest's head here. What's up, Forrest Gump? Let's go into uh, the screen mat here and uh, try to mess around with some stuff here and see what we can uh, do. So, soft color. Let's try uh, hard color, see if that does anything. Nah, source. Nah, don't do nothing. All right, so we're going to stick with hard color. Let's see if we uh, flip some blacks. 80, that's probably too much. Clip some whites. Let me go out to uh, see a little better. All right, see, I don't like this here around the edges. looks kind of stupid. So... Let's go with the uh, screen shrink, negative 0.5, so that gives it a, a better, uh, a little tighter around there. Let's see the hands. All right, so that looks pretty cool. And let's go back to the side. Let's see. Let's do. We only want to look at the uh, key part, so I don't care about if the hands go out. This is just for teaching purposes. Come on, Forrest. Forrest, Forrest Gump. I'm not even going to feather it, but something like that. And then we're going to bring in, I'm going to bring in an image so we can just see the background here. So let's uh, go up, bring in a photo. Let's see. I'm going to be chilling at the chilling at the uh, at the crib MTV's cribs all right so I'm hanging out in front of you know this house here uh, the key looks pretty good the key does look pretty good we got good lighting we've got uh, messed around with the uh, clip white and clip black we did uh, some screen shrinkage um, we got to do uh, screen softness. We're going to go 0.5. So that'll help out with the effect a little bit. Like I said, the main thing that you got to worry about when you're doing chroma is the lighting. Okay? The main thing is the lighting. Let's get back up here. If you don't have the lighting, it's going to give you hell. It's going to give you hell with the chroma. All right, let's zoom in and see. Uh, I mean, that's a pretty good key right there. You know what I like to do too? So I like to uh, to bring bring it, get it tight. I like to uh, effect matte simple choker, and then I like to. Boom. I mean, you want to get stupid? Look, ma, I'm anorexic. Ma. You don't like my look? Uh, so really one will do the trick. This will get rid of any residual halos that you have and tightens up the key and it just looks awesome. So now I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Let's take a look around the arms. I mean the arms look good. We've got no green whatsoever just looks really good just looks really good like I said if you have the the lighting situation down then uh, the key will go smoothly now you can see on the pant here with the clip black we did too much so we gotta back it up back it up You gotta watch. See the uh, shadows? You gotta watch that. You gotta watch that. Alright, so when you have a good key, the 
footage will look awesome. Good key equals great lighting. And if you got great lighting, you're going to have an awesome key. And it's going to look like it's part of the scene. See, so backed up, trying to get, showing you the, uh, see the shadow? See the shadow right there? All right, so with even lighting, you're going to have a good key. Uh, watch the shadows on the background. Then you want to try to uh, match the lighting on your subject to the uh, picture or video in the background that you're trying to key. Remember, lighting is critical. And watch the shadows. And this looks pretty darn good. Now all we need to do is do some color correction on the uh, on the uh, subject here. So we're going to click on the uh, layer effect, color correction, curves. I probably should pre-compose it, but let's see how it uh, looks here. Brighten up a little bit. That looks pretty good. Let me get set out there. So this is basic chroma keying. Uh, again, if you have great lighting, you're going to have a great key. I mean, you can see here that there's no haloing at all. Um, nice clean key, and uh, everything looks good. Everything looks good. All right, so so now that we have the perfect key, you have the lighting of the perfect key. Let's take a look at what we got here. We got our settings all s checked out, ready to go. So I see no hailing at all around here. The uh, this area looks good. Uh, no hailing there. It looks good. Nice clean, nice clean key. Let's see. So that looks good. It's not hard. Uh, if you do the work ahead of time and get the uh, lighting correct, and I know I keep saying lighting, but the fact of the matter is, to get a great key, you need good lighting, and that's it. I hope this helped.